Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to check your glow plugs. But first we're going to need a few tools. The first thing you're going to need is a digital voltmeter. And for a more accurate test you're going to need an amp clamp. Now keep in mind that the actual test results you'll get will vary from vehicle to vehicle and even may change from year to year as a manufacturer changes design. But what is most important is looking for a variation when we test each glow plug. If you have one glow plug with a different test result than the other ones, then most likely that one is bad. The vehicle I'm working on today is a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. The first thing we're going to have to do is get down to the glow plugs. So we have to remove the engine cover and the oil dipstick. Then we need to remove the harness off of the glow plugs. I try to lift them off of each one individually, but don't flex the harness too much because it can break. The first test we're going to do is checking the resistance of the glow plugs. So take your digital voltmeter and set it to ohms and connect one lead to a ground. I normally go to the valve cover. And then use the other lead connected to the top of each glow plug and write down the resistance value. As you can see, the third glow plug I checked has a lot higher resistance than all the other ones. For the second test, we're going to be measuring how much current goes through each glow plug. So take a jumper wire connected to the positive battery cable, run it through your amp clamp, and turn your amp clamp on, and then touch the other lead to the top of each glow plug. Now these are going to start out pulling quite a bit of current, and as they warm up, it's going to drop down and they'll kind of level out. And that's what we want to compare from one glow plug to the next. And as you notice when I get to the third one, the one that had a lot higher resistance than the other ones, it pulls zero current. So this glow plug is not warming up. Just by doing this simple test, you can tell if you have one bad glow plug or multiple bad glow plugs. If you don't already have a voltmeter or an amp clamp, I'll put links down in the description where you can buy those. And if you found this video helpful, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button.